Okay, so next up is motor mounts. Um, if you got the kit, this is your motor mount. Um, it's a piece of uh, inch and a half um, aluminum L stock um, that you're going to be drilling. And uh, that's it. You don't have to cut it out of stock. If we were cruel, we would have given you, you know, two inches of this stuff and you'd have to go hacksaw it up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill the holes for um, attaching the motor mount to the deck. And the way we do this is with a drill. And the later versions of the kit, we may start offering pre-drilled uh, motor mounts because this is one of the skills that seems to be setting people back. And uh, we really want you to build the airplane. You don't need to learn how to do put in every piece of DIY stuff. Um, get you flying, get you motivated to learn how to drill uh, once you're going. Okay, drills here. What I like to use, um, so we want um, holes that are big enough to go through the deck. Um, that these zip ties are going to accept. But I like to be a little bigger than these, so I just go with an eighth inch drill bit. Um, just so it's easy to do. This is, you know, this is, I like to have a little bit of give. So I take a drill bit that's about this size, and that's a little bigger, I think, than the, no it's not. Yeah, I got the wrong size. No, that's the exact same size. Um, this. Oh, these are bigger. These might be bigger zip ties. Oh boy. Yeah, they are bigger zip ties. Hmm. All right. Anyway, let's we'll start with this. So, um, drilling. You should drill in something you know that you can uh, dispose of. I mean, you can drill into because you are rolling your tabletops. Anybody in your life, if you're drilling, if you build it on the kitchen table and you start drilling holes in the top of it, you are not going to be well received by the rest of your family. No matter how much building this airplane changes your life. All right. So, the plan here, pretty simple. This is going to be the interface uh, to the deck. And what you want to do is you want to drill a hole. I'm just, you don't need to measure, just I want a hole kind of here, and I want a kind of hole here, and I want a hole here, and I want a hole a little bit back. Now notice, these holes are not in the same plane. I want to avoid a stress riser. Imagine what would happen if I put a hole here, 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 and a hole here. That would basically compromise the strength of this edge when this thing crashed. And we do have these motor mounts bend up right you know on, on hard crashes but what you can do is uh, so we don't want to have these in the same plane this is sort of an extreme case of what would happen if you drilled it there so we're just going to try and have as much material as we can there so that's why we that's why we offset that one and that one so that the, there's uh, you know minimum amount of material uh, is compromised all right so let's drill it up <clears throat> Now, safety ga glasses are a great idea. Um, you know, all kinds of weird stuff can happen. Really, please don't get blinded because you work with, um, because of a Brooklyn Aerodrome project. Um, I had some around to show you. Ah, oh, here we go. Yes. These are your friends. Soldering. Oops, come on. Yeah. Go ahead. I know they're uncool. But uh, just, uh, you know, little bits of metal can fly up and hit your eye. I had a story about someone having to pull an, a uh, an aluminum shaving out of their eyeball. It wasn't building with us, but he was he was doing a build with us, and he said that happened to him. I had to go to the ophthalmologist to have an aluminum shaving pulled out of his eye. It's like, ah. So, take care. All right, so now we're just going to drill these. If you want, you can... So, I, I'm, I'm pretty cavalier about my drilling. Uh, I, I don't recommend you be that way. Why don't we just try to make this safe? I'm going to assume that you're, you know, some, that you're, it's kind of new territory for you, particularly drilling metal. Aluminum is pretty easy to work with, but um, um, it's not drilling steel, which uh, I kind of think I'd rather have a drill press for. Um, so I don't have a drill press, so that's how I do it. So I'm just holding that in place with these vice grips, and, uh, vice grips, sorry, and, uh, and then you just try and get them in there. And I'm not putting in a tremendous amount of pressure, you know, just enough, firm. Not getting a lot of RPMs, because that's just a lot of energy whacking around. And one right there. All right. So that's the first part of this. 
So that is going to be how we attach to the deck, all right, through zip ties there. And I'm just going to do a trial fit, make sure this drill is big enough. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. That's going to work super duper well. All right, next up, we're going to drill the motor mount in. So this means we have to extract our brushless outrunner motor. And um, this type of motor assumes a radial uh, motor mount, which is what a lot of them use. There's also a cross motor mount, which I'll show you in a second. But the, uh, so we get the parts out of this. And the relevant parts are, I just want this guy right here. That, that's the radial mount. And I'm going to put all the little screws and stuff like that back inside. Oops. If you lose one of these little tiny screws, doesn't matter. These are the, well, no, just keep them all. Just so you don't know what matters yet. And one of those may have come out of the prop saver. So I lied. No, keep them all. All right, keep everything neat so you know where everything is. And now um, what we're going to do here is we're going to place this. Now notice that this has some Allen set screws. There's one here and 90 degrees away, one here. You might want to take those out. Um, in fact, I kinda, I'm going to do it right now. Um, it's pretty easy for them to get snagged on the um, drill bit as it goes in and out, and we're going to be drilling both inside and outside of it. So um, please do go ahead and uh, um, remove them. Don't lose them because we're going to need them later. All right, so these come out. I'm going to put them in my little drill bit bucket because I know I'm putting them right back in when I'm done with this. Not put them someplace where they really get lost. So those are just being pulled out. Sorry, I should get that in frame. So that's there we go. That's it coming out. Allen key, Allen set screw, open hole now. Drop it in there. Right, they're both in there right now. Okay, and I'll drop the Allen wrench in there too. <coughs> okay, uh, not that it matters at this point because it's symmetric. But remember, what I want, what we're going to want to do is have these two set screws accessible from the top of this motor mount. This is going to be attached to the deck here, so I don't want these set screws to be require me to get through the deck in order to take the motor off and replace it. So we might as well just set it up that way right now. And what I do is I take the the vise grips and I use them, and I do prefer to use the vise grips for this, particularly with people that aren't comfortable. It just helps everything be super precise. And Yeah, it can be a little hard to get them play, placed, but and I'm just eyeballing this, right? Eh, looks kind of in the center, not really, so I'm going to go a little further in. Don't measure it. Don't get all bent out of shape about it. Just get it kind of looking good. All right, there we go. Oh, it looks pretty much in the center to me. Look good to you. Looks good to me. All right. So, um, I have a decision to make now. I'm going to switch to a smaller drill bit. It's, uh, um, I believe this is 3 seconds, And the uh, reason is I kind of want a tight fit on these. This is holding the motor mount, the motor to the motor mount. It's going to be a you know, source of heat transfer, all kinds of other fun and games. So I'm going to drill with a slightly smaller drill that's just a tiny bit smaller than uh, my zip tie. All right? Because I want that to be tight, tight, tight. I may have to use pliers to pull it through. But that's my intention. All right, so here I am. I use the motor mount on the outside, or whatever outside means, but on the on the outside of the angle um, to guide drilling. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure, but not a ton. Keep going. Everything stays nice and aligned. That looks good. Yep. All right. Okay. Eh, a little misalignment, but it's not. It's not huge. It's just a tiny little bit, and that just will get handled by you know, pulling hard. All right. The last thing is we need to drill the center out of this. With these motors, you need to um, because the back of the motor has got um, this little nubby bit on it. Um, it won't, 
it will rub on the on the, the, the motor shaft. I don't think it's I don't know if that's visible. I don't know if it can focus, but we need to make clearance for that. And I just use this honking 10 millimeter drill bit to do it and just drill it out. It's basically the size of, of this whole thing. You could just do it with a quarter inch strip, a bit as well. You just need to get the center of it because this is the rot rotating part. You don't want to have, you really need to have the whole thing be clear. If, uh, if this uh, retaining um, clip is actually stuck in one place and it rotates, um, it will uh, eventually wear out and fall off and then your, your motor shaft might fall out. So, um, <clears throat> So try to just get a hole big enough to get that whole thing rotating if that's what it wants to do. Okay, so and, you know as big a hole as you got uh, in the center in the center of that. Okay, so place again, place again, place again. Yeah, this build has got a lot of drilling in it. And all right. Oops. Now it's going to be a little tight. And this is worth being careful. Try not to get your fingers too close. There's a lot of force here. And it's a big bit. And just take care. A little bit of pressure. Medium RPM. PC wood. And then you're fine. Don't go super hard because what will happen, if you go super hard and slow, it'll, it'll, it'll catch and everything goes flying because uh, there's enough torque for that to happen. Um, so just you know, medium speed, a little bit of pressure, and it'll just kind of work its way through into some substrate that you can keep drilling on. All right. <coughs> so that's the worst of it there. So we have a nicely, um, this is ready to receive this motor mount, and we have the bottom done. And I 